All right, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see here, I've designed my own Topps card, uh, customized um, card. I will be talking about uh, how I designed it, um, what I chose, why I chose it, quality of it, and so on. So as you can see, I have a bunch of them here that, they, that I was able to get. Um, so first, I'm just gonna talk about how I designed it. So I designed it by, by picking a picture off my uh, phone. So this is the picture I chose. Um, you can see my name uh, down here. Um, I chose the Blue Jays because they are my favorite team and I am wearing a Blue Jay jersey. The background is a Roger Center. I chose the uh, rookie logo in the corner because this is the first card that I have designed. The other thing you can, you can put down in the corner here is the position that you, that you um, say you play or whatever. I ended up putting uh, ball hawk. Um, which I know it's hard to see, and that's one of the issues I have with the card, is that your position or whatever you put down here is not clear, even um, looking at it, not just on camera, it's unclear. Uh, I like how they have the logo, they have your name is clear, the picture is clear, good quality. Card is pretty thick, it's, pr it's a good thickness of a card, good quality, doesn't really tear. On the back, as you can see, I also designed um, the back, just a quick description of myself and basically what the card is about. So this is uh, my official uh, personalized ball hawk card. Um, you can see myself holding ball uh, baseballs in the card. Um, so I have signed a few for some fellow friends. Um, w one thing I noticed and is that if I sign down here, the signature is hard to see as it's a bit darker. Um, with the jersey and stuff, it's a bit darker and it's harder to see. I've signed over here, and it's a lot clearer to see. I just don't like that. That It's on an angle. It just doesn't look as good. I don't want to sign up here because I'm, I'm going across my face. So I, so what I do is I usually just sign here, even though it's not my favorite place to sign. It's just easier to see. Um, one thing I would change about this card is I would probably uh, pick a different uh, picture just because signing across here, which is the most common place to sign on any card, um, I feel like the signature would come through. A lot clearer um, otherwise yeah it's a really good quality card I like the card um, designed it myself hometown position again on the back which is a lot clearer tops good thickness good quality um so now I'll just be signing a few So as you can see, the signature does come out a bit clearer on that spot, like I said before. Now I'm going to sign here and show you what I mean, how it's not as clear, and why that's probably one of the biggest things I would change. So as you can see, it's not as clear um, as it is in that on that card. I'm just going to sign a few more. So the reason why I chose 286 for the number is because that's my total number of uh, baseballs I've caught and this is my ball hawk card um, that I decided to create. So last one I'm going to sign. And also uh, I'll be at a bunch of uh, Jays games or whatever when the uh, base MLB does start up again. Um, and I will have these at the games with me. So if you do watch my videos and you do happen to see me at a game, uh, stop me, say hi, say um, say hi and all that. And if you want a card, one of these signed cards, then let me know and I'll hand them out. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll tell you more about that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like my channel.